welcome to middle school, and here we go with HMS Today. Today, I'm your host, Farzad Ferdos, and here comes Mr. Keller and a friend for the middle school update. Good morning, HMS. As you know, this past Monday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day. For several of you, it was not a day off, but rather a day on in the name of service. A contingent of 12 community and club members led by Mr. Rockwood participated in the MLK Day of Giving Back here at HMS. In the spirit of the philosophy of Dr. King, club members assisted attendees with crafting fleece material into winter scarves, which will be sold every morning in the cafeteria over the next two weeks. The proceeds from this will be donated to shelters for homeless veterans. Other HMS students participated with their scout troops or as a member of religious affiliations. Tommy Bernardin was in Boston as part of Massachusetts Project 351, where a grade 8 student from each city and town represented their community in a day of service. I asked Tommy to share highlights from his day. Hi, I'm Tommy. On Saturday, what I first did was drive over to Framingham to get on a bus. That bus then took me over to Faneuil Hall in Boston. Once I got there, everyone was split up into groups, and those groups were put together into teams. At Faneuil Hall, we listened to a lot of people talk and give speeches, such as Governor Baker. When they were all finished, we listened as we were assigned community services throughout, the, throughout Boston. My team was assigned cradles to crayons, and the work that we did there felt like a lot of fun, and we knew that we were making an impact on a lot of young kids' lives. When we had finished there, we took another bus over to JFK Memorial Library. That once we got there, we listened to some more speeches to wrap up our day before we went home. Overall, it was a ton of fun, and I really enjoyed it. Thanks, Tommy, and everyone, for your efforts to celebrate and honor Dr. King's legacy. You continue to make HMS and Hopkinton great. Thank you, Mr. Keller and Tommy. Next up, we have a minute with a teacher. We actually got a few requests for this guy. So here comes Mr. Hayes. Why did I become a teacher? Um, I ask myself that question a lot. I think, I think, I don't know, ever since I was a kid, I, um, I wanted to get a job that was really, really easy and could make a lot of money. So it was either billionaire businessman or teacher. And to this day, I think I chose wrong. But I'm glad I did actually, because I love working with young people, especially um, middle school um, age kids. I think they're great to work with. So uh, I'm glad I chose to do this job. Uh, right now I'm teaching eighth grade world history. Sometimes I teach seventh grade geography, uh, but I prefer world history. Um, I just have always found it um, interesting subject matter and uh, I like to share that knowledge with young people. They don't always want to share it with me, but um, I do my best and uh, I think it's um, fascinating to learn about uh, people from the past. I think actually what I'm still learning from my students is to not take things personally. I remember when I started, I used to think uh, if I asked my students to do something specific or do it a certain way um, and they wouldn't necessarily do it the way I asked or to actually do it at all, I used to take it very personally. I used to think it was like, you know, something like they didn't like me or something. So they wanted to, um, you know, just ignore what I asked them to do. So over the years, I'm learning that that's not, I hope, not really the case. Uh, my favorite part of teaching is, uh, well, um, I guess it's probably... <laughs> It's probably the fooling around, and um, sometimes I get off track a little bit and waste a little bit of time. Uh, administration's not going to see this, are they? Oh, um, I decided to teach at Hopkinton because this was the first place I interviewed as a teacher, um, and they offered me a job. So I decided to take it, and, uh, and, and the rest is history. I'm, I've worked with uh, young people for a long, long time, but it was sort of a late career change for me to switch over to teaching. and. Um, uh, Hopkinton was my first interview, and they said, welcome aboard, and I said, great. So that's why I'm here. I have no pets. My boys really want me to get a pet. They want me to get a dog, um, but um, I refuse to get them a dog um, because I love dogs, but I hate walking dogs, especially in the winter, and I know my boys say that they're going to walk the dog, but they're not going to do it. As for hobbies, I like, um, I like to go to the movies a lot. I don't get to go as often anymore as I used to, um, but I love going to movies. I've loved everything about movies. I have a nice big movie collection at home. Um, I also like to, uh, something else I haven't been able to do in a long time is act. Um, 
Uh, I used to do a lot of theater. Uh, and then when my boys came along, I kind of had to put that away for a while. And hopefully, as they get a little bit older, I'll be able to get back out there and uh, do it a little bit more because I really, really enjoy doing that. The movie Star Wars came out when I was 10 years old. So I think I'm required by law to have that be my favorite movie of all time. And fortunately, it is. And I've really been happy to, to see it um, you know, make a big comeback um, with these new movies. I think the new movies have been very, very good. And uh, I'm hoping all the young people will actually go back and watch the original movies um, because they were also very good. One of the things I think I would like to change in the school uh, would be, uh, little by little, I would, I would rip out these old lockers and try to change them in with some uh, new ones that can, uh, can give you guys a little bit more space, a little bit more room, especially in the winter. Uh, it seems that you're, you're jamming the stuff in there, and um, I think you guys could use some new lockers. Thanks, Mr. Hayes. To see more of that interview, watch this show online at our website. And also, keep sending us your requests for the next teacher or staff to interview. And now, we turn to the ever-popular question of the day. Today we ask, what's your favorite movie quote? My favorite quote from a movie is from The Lion King. It's Akuna Matata, which means no worries. My favorite movie quote is from The Shining, Here's Johnny. There are four main food groups, candy, candy canes, candy corn, and syrup. My favorite movie quote would probably be um, Avengers Assemble. My favorite movie is, Fat, is Furious 7. Keep the change, you filthy animal! Everything is awesome from the Lego movie. My favorite movie quote is I volunteer her as tribute. On Wednesdays we wear pink! Adventures Assemble! Now it's time for the HMS poll. We asked people, what do you want to be when you grow up? And the top answers were video game designer and anesthesiologist. And the number one was, don't know? Guys, time to bring it together. Anyways, that brings us to birthdays. As is becoming typical, we have a good number for you. So we're going to just run them on, on screen all the time. And here we go. <laughs> And now it's time for Have You Seen This? But no one found it, so no candy for you. Let's try a new one. Check out this picture and email us where it is by next Tuesday. Maybe we'll pick your name and you will win a prize. That's all we have today. So remember to email us at hmstv at hillers.org with interview suggestions, question suggestions, or even to tell us how cool we're doing or what we should be doing. And see all our stuff at www.hcam.tv slash HMS TV. Now get out there and work hard. Oh, I messed up. Do you have something you'd like to add? Oh man, I think I messed up. And anesthesiologist, oh. anesthesiologist, anesthesiologist. That means, oh. yeah, as is. That, wait, what? Is it? Now it's time for HMS. Oh. Samuel will help. And then they will like do that.